Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first week of August, so August 2nd, 3rd to the 9th or 10th. We're just going to see what comes up for Aquarius for the week ahead. What do we have for Aquarius for the week ahead? Three of Wands reversed. Knight of Swords. And it's interesting because that's what I saw was the Knight of Swords reversed. That's what I saw. Um, and it's like anger. So I'm not sure if there's anger here. If you're going to get angry over a situation or you're going to be dealing with somebody that's angry. This is a dangerous, I mean, the Knight of Swords in reverse could be danger. You could be led into danger, leading others into danger. This is, this is uh, explosive uh, energy, okay? This is out of control. You know, this is, this is something that could get out of control, not prepared. So I'm not sure if you're not, and you could be, I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but this is not prepared, lack of foresight, not seeing it. Something could be happening that, you know, you don't see it coming. This is like a shock, okay? It is a shock. So interesting. The Magician. And the Three of Cups reversed. So we got threes on both ends. So there's going to be some sort of choice, a change of some sort. This is about growth. It's about growth and it's about change. And I don't know if it's you or the other person. You decide. But there's somebody here that uh, is not happy. And this is parting ways. Parting ways with family or friends. or There could be a third party situation here. It doesn't have to be third party. This is the party is over. This is not happy about a situation. Magician is a card of manipulation, taking action. Somebody's taking action right now. They're doing it right now. They, they're going to be showing up. They're going to be showing you something right away. Um, this is taking power. It's about power. Hmm. Seven of Swords reversed. King of Coins reversed. Uh, hangman. Let's just get the rest of the cards. Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups. And we got two for the bottom. It's supposed to be one, but we're going to take them both. Two of Swords and the Strength card. So you're going to need to be strong. You're going to be need, And this is a week, a big week for you, okay, because of the Mars energy and the Uranus energy that's coming in with this moon and your fixed sign so this is definitely going to be it's going to be a, a big week and it is about choice this is a week of choice a head versus heart decision is going to be made this week and it probably has to do with something you love or a relationship of some sort that you're in you're going to need to be strong you're going to need to act with grace okay you're going to need to master your emotions this week you are dealing, you may need to prove yourself. You may feel the need to prove yourself. You may have been thinking about your next move. You may have been needing to look at things differently and maybe you've refused to. Maybe you've been stuck on something. You know, you've been stuck in some sort of certain mindset. Well, something is going to happen this week that is going to, it's like a surprise, it's a shock. Somebody could get caught. Something could, somebody may have been scheming or plotting or doing something behind your back. Maybe it was with a third party, maybe it wasn't. But this is getting caught, the Seven of Swords reversed. Now this is being outsmarted. So you may have been outsmarted by somebody and you catch them. You catch them in some way. Um... I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You certainly could be. Um, but you may, whoever this person is, they may be lying to you or deceiving you or something like that. They definitely think they're getting away with it. Um, you, may, you may have some sort of notion, but you maybe you're in some sort of denial. Uh, the King of Coins in reverse is somebody that does things illegally. Um, they're on this person is unstable. They're insecure. Um, they don't really have a lot to offer or they're not really focused on offering much They They have their own agenda. 
this person is about money. Money is more important to them or stability is more important to them or what they can get from you is more important to them you know, than love. And you may be looking for love. You may be looking for something more emotionally fulfilling than what this person is giving you. The King of Coins in Reverse is an individual that really isn't giving love, okay? This person is very stubborn. Very, very, very stubborn. Um, I feel like this week, this is like an emotional upset of some sort. And I'm sorry to say that. Now, the magician is taking action to bring success. Go within and, and really, this is, a, this is about learning a lesson. This is a period of growth for you. You're being taught a lesson. Maybe it's about your own worth. Maybe it is about, and whether you're a male or a female, you may be taught a lesson about your worth. Um, the magician is about willingness. Willingness to shed the old, to bring in the new. Next to the hang man, we have very stubborn energy here. I know that you're a fixed sign, right? So you're very stubborn. It's like you don't want to bring in the new. You're pretty probably very comfortable where you're at. You know, but if you're dealing with a third party and you're ignoring it, that's really not going to bring you happiness. It's not. I think that this week is going to be emotional with you for you with the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Strength card because strength is about mastering emotions. I think that you're you're going to be feeling some sort of strong emotion this week over something that gets revealed. I feel like there's some some sort of truth that comes out that. Uh, affects your heart you know what I mean it it, it it affects your emotions and you didn't see it or you were in denial okay you didn't see it this is lack of foresight and I think you're going to be put at that point where you need to make a choice you do you need to make a choice do you this is a head versus heart decision do you I understand that your heart wants one thing but is it logical um so yeah, I think that this week you're going to be making a decision about a relationship that you have been thinking about quite a bit. I think you've been thinking about it a lot. I think that you have an opportunity for love and you have to make a choice. I think that you, maybe you or the person that you're dealing with has another, because we have the threes here, okay? There's a third party situation here, okay? But it looks at things there is. You have to make a choice or they have to make a choice. Which one is it going to be? Which one is it going to be? So somebody is going to be making a decision. The overall outcome is this two of swords being at that crossroads. There's a little bit of indecisiveness and denial here. Blocking the truth. You know, so I think that you've been in a period of blockage trying to ignore. Trying to ignore your feelings. But I feel like this week... There's going to be an expression of feelings because I feel like there's going to be, you know, with this Knight of Swords reversed, that is um, somebody looks for a fight. Okay, they look for a fight or they they pick at you or they poke at you or they lead you in the wrong direction or something like that. And, and, the, and there's some sort of... Uh, it feels like it's an altercation or it's a flip. It's a flip, you know, it's, that's what it is, like a flip, maybe it's a flip out or some sort of flip, somebody flips, um, but this seven of swords reversed is, is, is the, again, ignoring, turning a blind eye to what's happening, somebody is turning a blind eye, ignoring the truth, it is, this is ignorance, and this is ignoring the truth, so we, we definitely have, and ignoring the heart, so I feel like this week, uh, you are probably not prepared for something to come out um, about whoever it is that you're dealing with. Um, this, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo right here, right in the middle. So that's a big prominent energy here, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This person may be uh, developing a relationship. And maybe it's behind your back. I don't know what is going on. Something is going on. This is behind your back. Something is happening. And you may be just clueless. This is clueless. This is clueless. And this is in denial. You know, so maybe maybe you don't. And this is not seeing it. Maybe you don't see it. Or maybe you're just, you do see it and you're blocking it. Because this is blocking it. So there's, there's a blockage here. 
Um, this is a need to go within and, and look at things differently. And this is struggling to let go. And this is, too, you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to let go of some sort of relationship where I feel like uh, you're just an option. It feels like you're an option. This per I feel like whoever is with you is because of the stability that they that you can give them. And I feel like I feel like this week, you know, there's going to be um, this could be a termination or there's gossiping going on around you or this could be a parting of ways. You know, let's get some more cards because the three of cups reversed. That, that's uh, a loss of a friendship or dashed expectations. You're going to have to struggle through this. Yeah, there's, as clarifying right over here, this is you must struggle through this. You have to take action. You must take action this week. You must take action to let go. Take action to let go. It's going to take a lot of strength. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody that just isn't interested. And perhaps this person has caused you to miss an opportunity. I feel like you've been missing an opportunity for love. Dealing with an individual who is only with you for the financial security. Or for, along for the ride. Okay, this person is along for the ride. However, whatever ride you're giving them, they, they're along for the ride. That's all they're along for, you know, and I feel like you're looking for love. And I think that there's an opportunity for love here that you have been missing. You've been missing out on it. So I think that you will be receiving communication from somebody that um, probably wants to be in a relationship with you or wants to... Um, nurture you and take care of you but you're blocking them and you're pushing them away because you're dealing with somebody else or that could go vice versa okay so I feel like this week you are um, probably going to uh, you know there's sadness here there is sadness there's sadness here over Your inability to let go. Your inability to let go of something that... Or somebody. It's something or somebody that... Uh, it feels like this person has manipulated you in some way. There's manipulation here. Um, they've taken your power. And I think that you've been missing another opportunity. I think that you're really stuck. You're really, really, really stuck. So what's going to happen... What's going to happen? What are you going to do? Son, now this is happiness. This is a breakthrough. This is free. This is freedom. This is bre breaking free. This is this is a new day. It's a new light. It's becoming enlightened. This is enlightened and this is enlightened. I think you're going to get some enlightenment. I do. From a third party. Okay? Something is going to be said or you're going to see something or you're going to catch somebody which is going to enlighten you. And it, perhaps you're going to break free finally. You know, I think this has been a long time coming. I think that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and hoping for the best, hoping that things would change. But things aren't going to change. You have to find your strength and your courage to, you know, make the right decision. And I think it's very, very emotional. I think if there's secrets here, whoever you're dealing with is keeping secrets. And I think that you're burying that. You're burying your intuition. I don't, this is the gateway to int intuition. I think that. You're not listening to your intuition, and I think it's because I don't know why. Why? Why are you? Why? Why are you not listening to your intuition? Because of fear? Because you don't have the courage? You don't have the confidence to protect yourself? To stand up for yourself? Anyhow, I feel like you are going to see clearly this week what you need to do. You're going to receive some sort of information. Um, that brings clarity. Okay, you're going to get some clarity this week. It's something that you have been struggling with. You've been in a place of denial. You have. Okay, that's the way I see it. You've been in a place in, of denial. You've been missing an opportunity for love. Okay, you have. Somebody's, somebody wants to love you. They have love for you and you've been ignoring them. And I, or they've been ignoring you or vice versa. However, this resonates with you. There's been some definitely ignoring the truth here. And I feel like 
it's time for you to let go. Even though it's going to be a struggle, you must take action to bring happiness. You must take action to bring happiness. You must take action. Stop wasting your time and sacrificing. You deserve to be happy. You could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here as well. Okay? You must find the resources within you, find all the strength, find all the courage, act with integrity, do whatever it takes. You deserve to be happy. Okay? You deserve to be happy. Whoever you are with is along for the ride. And I think that you know it. So I feel like this week you're probably, you, maybe you, you reach for the happiness, okay? She's reaching for the happiness. Maybe you reach for that new life. You, you decide, okay? Because a decision is definitely in process. You know, I don't think that you, you've made the decision this week because, but this is seen clearly. This is seen clearly, okay? So I think that you are going to see clearly what you need to do. Um... There's gossiping around you. People are talking. I also see parting of ways. I see parting of ways. Somebody could be getting terminated or let go. They, you've been hanging, you know, maybe you let go. You just decide to let go. Um, you are going to be, you've been mastering your emotions and I think you're going to continue to do so. I think that you've been keeping pretty quiet. I think that you've been keeping it to yourself. You've, even though the high priestess isn't here, I've been thinking that you've been doing a lot of observing, but I think you're at this crossroads right now where you have to make a decision. What's it going to be? Okay. Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to be loved? Do you want to be in a relationship where you're loved and where there's the ultimate love? Or do you want to be in a, in a situation where it's just logical? You know, I should, it's safe. It's safe here. At least I have somebody, right? You know, the choice is yours. You have to make a choice this week and it's not going to be an easy one. So I feel like this week you are going to be put into a position that you are probably not prepared for. Okay, with the Three of Wands reversed, the Knight of Swords reversed, and the Seven of Swords reversed. It's like some so, something comes out. There's dishonesty. There's betrayal. There's lies. And, you know, this is getting caught. Okay, getting caught. So somebody's going to get caught lying or whatever. And maybe it forces you to take action and make a decision. Good luck.